Dirty summer and stuff for me. Spend a day to get my mind blown. Dress it up and go to NASA. 200 miles on the dash. Got a roller pound up a gas. Switch the lanes in the grand. Hey you guys, it's you guys Ciara Diamond here and today I am here. It's been a very long time since I've been on YouTube and it's because I've been extremely busy. Um, I have been, I interned at a record label so that's kind of been taking up a lot of my time along with school and stuff. So I'm going to be in and out of YouTube as I said before. So um, I'm basically here to show you guys the hair that I have in. This is Russian hair. This is my first time ever reviewing Russian hair like in my life. So this hair arrived blonde and this hair is from hairfleek.com. Hair fleek. Hair on fleek. But yeah, so this hair is from hold on, can we just fix it? So as you can see it's like silver and it has some blue and violet hues. But that's because when I dyed it, I I'm going to tell you guys my whole dyeing process, but I just wanted to give you guys like the specs on the hair. So this is Russian virgin hair. So the hair was sent to me totally blonde. It was Russian body wave or whatever. And it came in blonde. And this, I'm going to tell you guys the length. So I had a 14 inch closure, a 14, no, 14 inch closure, 16 inch bundle, 16 inch bundle, 18 inch bundle, and 18 inch bundle. So I basically have four bundles in a closure as usual. That usually doesn't change because I like my hair to be like full. You can tell the difference between this and Brazilian hair only because Brazilian hair is a little bit more coarse while this is a little bit more fine. The hair itself is not giving me any type of issues. Like as you can see I'm running my hands through it and it's not giving any problems. I just kind of wanted to jump to the hair review instead of the whole unboxing and all that home shell wacko mumbo jumbo because it just wastes time. And you don't care about, I mean, you can care about how the hair comes, but you want to see, no point in seeing how the hair comes if the hair is trash, you know? So, so far the hair has been good, and um, it came in, like, such pretty packaging. I'm going to show you guys a picture, because I took a picture when it first came. It was, like, in this pink satin bag that said Hair Fleek on it, A1 packaging, along with every single bundle was labeled to a T. It had the origin along with the length and everything so I was so happy because you guys know how I feel about seeing my bundles labeled. So um, yeah that was a, like a plus and so far the hair hasn't given any issues and in addition to blonde hair they also sell different origins of hair so if you need Brazilian, um, like Peruvian, all that just stuff you could find out on Hair Fleet for an affordable price. Um, they're based out of, I believe, Georgia, or I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's from um, Georgia. So, if you guys are in the Georgia area, definitely look up Hair Fleek, and if you're not, definitely check them out, because they have some great prices, and this hair is A1. I don't know if it's because it's Russian, it's different from the blonde hairs that I have, because there's not a lot of beards on the hair at all, and normally why I hate blonde hair is because the amount of beards is out of this world, and beards is basically when you know the you know the little stickly prickly that stick up in your hair so um yeah i was just really satisfied and i just had to share it with you guys so if you guys have any other questions as far as anything that you need to know about this hair about the company the hair was shipped like so quick but like by the time they um, i decided like what like hair i wanted to review it was sent out so quick, like I got it and I was just like, damn, I'm gonna have to like hurry up and undulate this and get this done because I wasn't expecting it to come that quick. But it really came really quick and the customer service was really sweet. Like the people that I spoke to to get everything together as far as what links and everything, they were popping. So it's extremely soft and it took the color so, so, so nicely. Like, I only dyed it um, one time, and this gray is totally different from the gray that I had last year around this time, which was more of a, it kind of was like a very ashed out blonde compared to this. This is actually gray, and I'm going to get into detail of how I got this color or achieved this color with the little blue tints or hues or whatever, because I kind of tweaked things a bit. I didn't use any Weller products. I used straight um, Adore which is kind of shocking um i used a door only along with another um dye it was a kiss dye um, i'm gonna insert pictures into the video because i don't have the bottles with me because i kind of did this 
um i did the whole dye job probably like about a couple weeks ago so i used two colors and in addition to the two colors i also used another adore color which was indigo blue now when i used the um like you know i laid out my hair whatever i did it bottle by bottle i used i think four but four the four bottles of the adore platinum and then in each bottle I did two drops of indigo to each bottle so when I had the um, the the platinum color I put it into like a little container and I poured just two drops of indigo blue one two just two little drops that's it I didn't add I didn't want to overpower it or anything um, this one girl I met who had like like a beautiful hair color she told me that she added black and she just plays around with colors so I decided to just try the blue so I used that and that kind of gave it like the blue tint. It gave it like this blue steel look, which is kind of what I was going for because I didn't want it to be straight granny gray and I didn't want it to be a smoky gray. I just wanted it to be a Sierra gray. <laughs> like a, um, just a different gray, you know? So this was just the hue that I got and I was actually satisfied. So I added the roots um, after once the hair was already colored so i was very satisfied with how everything came out and i just was like i have to debut this like i have to stop wasting time and debut this so um i finally debuted it to you guys and if you guys need any more in-depth details of how i colored it feel free to like leave it down below because it's just the same process all the time i really don't do anything different the only thing i did to kind of tweak it as i said before was the indigo blue and i was actually satisfied so if you guys like how this looks you can definitely let me know i'm gonna leave the link for hair fleet down below as well as the specific hair that i have in which is the russian body wave i'm gonna leave their instagram down below as well i'm gonna leave any social networks that they have um down below in the description box and i will see you guys at the end of my next video bye okay. so usually i lather up my face and then I just go around and do this all over like 